Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. I want to talk about uh, customization, um, specifically um, people that come in and, and they've got something in mind. I've got some color splotches here. I'm going to talk about that in a second. They have something in mind. They also have a certain budget that they want to keep it to. So um, we do a lot of customization. So that's, that's very much an option. We've sold lots and lots of pianos in here that are totally, totally raw. And by raw, I mean these are pianos that are 100 years old sometimes, um, or, or sometimes even older. Sometimes they go back even to the 19th century. So, so people will look at like some of the finished pianos, like we ha have these here, for example. This uh, 1890, this is a 1910, this one is about a 1920 or so. People will look at those and they'll say, they'll say it sounds great, I love how it feels, I love kind of the overall um, the overall uh, standard of quality that you've got on the inside, but the aesthetic isn't quite right. Or maybe, uh, maybe it's out of their budget, and so they'll say, well, can we, can we, can we pare back on, on some of the, some of the uh, um, uh, processes, pro the, the processes on the inside in order to, to save some money? Well, yeah, we can, we can do that. For example, we can leave strings original. It's not on, on some pianos, it's not what we would do if it were our piano, but forcibly when we replace strings, that's a massive, massive undertaking which naturally increases the price. So on some pianos we can, we can leave the original strings but just replace the hammers, for example, or, you know, so, so that we can kind of customize the price as well. Okay, um, so what I want to talk about right now uh, in the back, there's a, there's a piano that a lady bought, it's totally raw, uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, and she's essentially just trusting us that we're very good at what we do. We, we've got a lot of experience. I've got experience going back to 1995 working on pianos and, and these guys back here and in the shop. They've got lots of experience and they're very, very good and we never miss. Um, but she's saying, but I want it, uh, like I was been talking about, a certain price range. And she said, I want it blue. And so we're going to go look at that piano that's on its back right now. She's supposed to come in tomorrow to determine which, uh, I don't know if that even comes through. There's two very different, uh, well, sorry, not very different, only slightly different shades of blue um, that, uh, that, she's, that she's kind of batting around. And, and she's got, you know, we've got this huge swatch thing. And this is the one that we've got pulled out. And she pulled, uh, uh, this one is the one that she's kind of leaning towards. And then we've got different sheens. Uh, these these are actually the same color, I believe. Only only one has a a mat of I want to say ten out of a hundred. The the sheen scale goes up to hundred, and one is a five out of a hundred. Um, so we're gonna go look at that piano in a second. But before we do, another area. Um, actually, I'll keep these. Uh, for the piano when we see it in the back. The, the, another area that we can customize is um, satinization. So <clears throat> some people, what they're looking for is they want a satin black piano or satin ebony piano. And, and so where, where a relatively small um, percentage of pianos that are manufactured are manufactured in satin, they they're really relegated to only the, or they think they're relegated to only the pianos that are already satin. And so they, they've got a very small selection of pianos to fall in love with the actual instrument, the touch and the tone and so forth. Um, but what we can do is we can take a high polish piano like this and then we can satinize it. Like this I'm taking right here because I want to show you this. This is a, this is a piano that used to be um, the high polish and actually under the lid here where we didn't actually satinize it, it was 1984. Um, it's still that super high polish. Um, but uh, you can see, I hope that comes through on the video, it's, it's gorgeous. In, in my opinion, that's actually a classier look than the, than the high polish. I think high polish looks good as well, um, but, but it maybe has kind of a plasticky sort of a feel. Um, again, not that there's necessarily anything wrong with that. It, uh, let's get a shot of that. That's a very pretty Yamaha U, UX or y, YX. 
Um, but you know, it, it has a sort of plasticky, artificial look to it. And so, so, so the advantage of doing this is if you want satin, you can, you can look at any of these black pianos, the vast majority of which are high polish, and you can say, okay, this particular piano speaks to my soul. Now I want it to be satinized um, and get it that beautiful look. Okay, now let's look in the back shop. So some, some examples of uh, some pianos, like, like this one, for example. Someone could, could come in here and say, I love this look. I love this type of veneer. This is a quarter sawn oak. They say, I, I love this look, but I need it a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. And then on the inside, where, where this piano is probably, um, what, 1915, 1920, 1922, maybe somewhere in there. Um, of course, you know, approximately 100 years old, it needs to be redone. And so that's another thing that we consult with is, is we can determine, okay, what kind of investment are you willing to put into this instrument? I know what I would recommend. I would definitely replace the hammers. I would definitely replace the dampers. Um, on this piano, we've already actually replaced the strings because the strings were totally dead. Um, on this one, we've already done the key tops. Uh, we've already done quite a bit of work. Um, so this is, this is actually a piano. This is not one that somebody has, has requested to customize, but this would be a perfect example. They could say, okay, here's my budget. Here's the color that I'm looking for. Now, go for it. And then I'll say, you got it. We'll see you in about four months. Um, and the piano will turn out awesome. So uh, we, do, we do quite a bit of that. So, so all of the pianos in the front showroom are not the only pianos that, that we have available. Um, here's, here's another example. This, this piano, um, the Everett of uh, this era, this is a, this is a very popular um, kind of institutional piano, just a really workhorse of a piano mid-century. Um, and uh, just always super solid. I've worked on hundreds of them and they're, they're great pianos. They sound great, they play really well, they hold up really well. I've seen a lot of them. Um, in my clientele year after year after year and they're, and they're pianos that I really uh, recommend highly. I think it's a shame that they're not currently manufactured, frankly. But here, obviously, you've got not only major wear, but even if, it, if this color were, were currently in perfect condition, or this finish were in current perfect condition, it's just so terribly unfashionable right now. So we can, like, we can look at that fan chart, we can look at other pianos, and we can say, okay, I want it a darker color, or I want it a black satin. Any, anything uh, we're willing to do. Okay, now finally, to end the video, we're gonna, I'm gonna look at the uh, piano that, uh, that we're going to be uh, satin, or, or, or we're gonna be bluing. Um, so it's a, it's a 1978 Baldwin, 45 inch. Of course, it's on his back right now. And all of this, uh, you can see how much damage there was. There was, there was a huge amount of damage. Of course, when, when this is all uh, blued, the color blue, all of this will be, will be as if it were brand new. It'll, it'll be a beautiful shape and very durable. Um, like, it'll, it'll look like it was brand new. So um, we'll, we'll, get a, we'll get an after picture. She, like I said, she's supposed to come in here tomorrow and we'll, we'll get an after picture or maybe a video, I don't know, we'll see um, of which one she chooses. So there you have it, customization here at Brigham Larson Pianos. We, we are able to, to do a whole lot of customization from, from what you want on the inside, what you want on the outside, what your budget, uh, what fits for your budget, how far you want us to go, what your expectations are, if it, is it a piano that you want to use for just um, uh, uh, a few years, or is it a piano that all the way to the other end of the spectrum, a piano that you want to um, pass down to your children and your children's children and your children's children's children, we can do that too. It just all depends on, on you and um, kind of like Burger King, we can, you can have it your way. So. <laughs> Thanks for watching.